Enter another flagship phone ni Nubia. This is the flagship phone na Z60 Ultra. It has everything inside. Sobrang ganda ng ganang specs. Starting off with a triple camera sensor na may OIS lahat sila. And ang ganang main camera sensor is a Sony IMX 800, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, LPDDR5X, and of course, UFS 4.0. 6,000 mAh sa ang ganang battery. AMOLED display na walang punch hole. And best of all, manipis ang ganang bezels. All of that for less than 40,000 pesos. Bigyan ko sa inyo ang aking honest take after this quick intro. Now, ang Nubia Z60 Ultra has three variants. It has a 8256 na configuration, 12256 and 16512. Ang kanyang base variant na 8256 is priced at 39,000 pesos, but you'll get it at a sale price right now on the link that I'll be posting at around 33,000 pesos. But this is also available sa mga physical store like Shandy Philippines and Shandy Masangkay. More details on the description. Napag-usapan na natin ang kanyang design. Itong phone na ito, I would say, ang ganda. Probably one of the revolutionary design, but more of kinapi niya kay Red Magic. Square na square, and ang ganda ng kanyang likod. Very smooth and matte finish siya. So meaning walang fingerprint smudges. And kakaibang kanyang camera bump. I get to see yung Z50S Pro na meron isang malaking bilog dito sa gitna. Looks more of a camera than a smartphone. It quite resembles the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. But this time around, it, this one is quite different. And hiniwalay niyang kanyang tatlong camera sensors dito. This being the main sensor, this one being the telephoto lens, and na nasa taas niya is yung kanyang ultra wide. One good thing dito is nandiyan pa kanyang IR blaster. Yung sa kanyang gilid, the color red ang kanyang power button, even though that this is not a gaming phone. Then meron siyang toggle switch dito that is configurable. Pwede mong gawin siyang ringer toggle, pwede mong siyang gawin camera shutter button, or pwede mong siyang gaming mode. Yes, gaming mode. Itong phone na ito, even though na hindi siya gaming phone, nilagay pa na ng game space. Lagyan natin sa game space. And guys, meron siyang bypass charging, which is a bonus. Now, the phone na ito is being protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 5, aluminum side frames, and ang kanyang likod is glass finish. What's really nice dito sa kanya is wala na siyang punch hole. Yes, wala na siyang punch hole, so meaning iyong iyong boom screen. It's perfect if you're watching videos or playing games or just scrolling on social media. And ang kanyang side bezels is quite thin, and it's symmetrical all four sides. Now, like I said, this one has a flagship level na processor. Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and it was able to score a 1.82 million points dito sa Antetu Benchmark could have easily break 2 million but alam naman natin this one is not optimized for gaming. Now if you break it down, this is the score na makukuha natin. Best loop score na sa Wild Dive Extreme, 5,186 and ang kind of stability is at 84%. Ito ang score na makukuha mo dito sa Geekbench na CPU Benchmarking. Ito naman makukuha mo sa kanyang GPU Benchmarking. Not really looking that good dito sa thermal throttling test niya. Makita mo medyo mga red lines dito, bandang dulo. And nakaka-achieve siya ng maximum of 442,000 na GIPS and nag-throttle siya to 69% ng kanilang maximum performance. Which titignan natin later sa kanilang gaming performance kung papalag ba siya. And like I told you, this phone is not a gaming phone. This is a camera phone but it can give you a good gaming experience. Napag-usapan natin ang kanyang screen, this phone has a 6.8 inch na AMOLED display. Very bright, ang ganda ng kanyang colors, matingkad na matingkad pag tinignan mo. 120Hz of screen refresh rate, it can reproduce up to 1 billion colors, HDR10+, and ang kanyang maximum brightness is 1,500 nits. Itong phone na ito is running MyOS 14 inside Android 14. And if you're browsing through sa mga socials mo or sa mga shorts, I would say na sobrang smooth niya thanks to its high refresh rate and sobrang cool sa yung mata dahil this one has a low blue light protection as well. If you're watching your favorite shows on YouTube and on Netflix, okay na okay siya dahil meron siyang level 1 na wide band security level and may enjoy mo talaga everything that you're watching here. The frames are almost bezel-less, wala siyang punch hole, iyong iyong screen. It's just like watching a mini TV in front of you. Colors are punchy and may enjoy mo with the whole barcada. 
Na itong phone na ito has stereo speakers and it's being powered by DTS and DTS-X. Check lang natin. One word, lakas. Now, this phone is equipped with a 6,000 mAh of battery which for me is a good sign kasi this one can last you a day and a little bit above a day. Kasi Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 don't expect it to last you for 2 days kasi medyo power hungry siya. It's a flagship chip. Now, upon my testing for 3 weeks, this phone na ito can last me through a day without problem but it cannot last me for 2 days. Meron siyang 80 watts na fast charging brick which can charge this phone in less than 40 minutes. Sinalang natin sa battery stress test, okay na okay ang kanyang score. It was able to gather almost a 14 hours and a half. It was able to give me a 14 and a half hours of screen on time. And ang bonus dito is hindi ma-affect ang yung battery while you're gaming dahil meron siyang bypass charging or tawag niya charge separation dito sa kanyang settings. Na medyo sidetrack lang tayo kunti into gaming dito sa phone na ito. Even though that this is not a gaming phone, I'll give you yung mga aking gaming experience dito sa phone na ito. So here are the settings na kaya na makuha maximum settings on this 4 games na nilaro natin. Call of Duty Mobile, Genshin Impact, Farlight 84, and Tower of Fantasy. If you're playing Call of Duty Mobile, I would say sobrang smooth ang inyong experience dito. Wala kang mafe-feel talaga na frame drops. Not even a single bit. Wala akong napansin talaga. And playing on BR matches and uh, rank matches dito, okay na okay siya. Even though kahit lahat kayo sabay ng babakbakan on a certain point, wala kang mafe-feel na lag dito sa, sa game na ito. And equally said, dito sa Farlight 84, it was really good kasi naglaro tayo ng halos apat na rank matches dito. It was able to give me that really nice experience. Siguro frame drops a little bit along the way but nothing really serious about it. And sinet natin sa kanya highest graphical settings na pwede. And the highest temperature na na-achieve ko dito is around 46 degrees Celsius. Uh, pagdating naman si Genshin Impact ng sa Tower Fantasy, you'd really feel na sobrang smooth na experience dito. Sinet natin sa highest graphical settings dito sa dalawang game na ito. And halos equal to dalawa, no? medyo matakaw siya sa graphics. And I really had fun dito sa game na ito. Kasi halos smooth na smooth ang kanya experience. Eh. Wala ka nalang mapapansin na frame drops. So right now guys, pag-usapan na natin the main highlight dito sa phone na ito, ang kanyang triple camera setup dito na may tatlong OIS din as well. Starting off with a main sensor na 50MP na Sony IMX 800, meron siyang OIS and a aperture of 1.6. And ang kanyang 50MP na ultra wide lens is from Omnivision with a aperture of 1.8. May OIS din siya. Then of course, ang kanyang telephoto lens is a Omnivision na OV64B 64MP and the aperture na 3.3 with OIS as well. It can shoot up to 8K video and ang kanyang harap is a 12MP na under display camera which can shoot up to 1080p and 30fps. Now guys, right now, pag-usapan natin yung mga outdoor shot na nakuha natin dito sa camera niya. So one of the shots na nakuha ko dito is itong bato na to. It might look simple. Pag zoom in mo siya, you'll see all of the details dito, yung vines niya, yung mga craters niya. It's Everything's preserved though, yung kanyang mga details is very rich. Now, taking a look at this one as well, makita mo mga alambre niya pag zoom in mo, no? as well as yung mga, mga ugat niya, mga lumot, everything's here. Some of the plant shot na nakuha natin, everything looks pretty sharp as well. Now, looking at its ultra-wide shot, this is a 18mm shot. This one is a 35mm shot and this one is a 85mm shot. So, you see all of the difference yung kanyang different lens, no? Pagdating sa ultra-wide shot niya, maybe blue ang kanyang sky. Now, if you check yung kanyang regular shot, you'll see a little bit more darker blue here. Now, if you take a look sa kanyang uh, zoom-in shot at 85mm, makita mo, no? Halos iba na dalaga yung kulay ng sky as compared to these two. Now, if you take a look sa kanyang 85mm shot, you'll see all of the details are very much preserved. Now, ulitin lang naman natin, no? 18mm, 35mm, and 85mm. Yung kanyang zoom-in shot, maganda pa rin mga details. Now, take a look at this catch shot, makita natin. Ang ganda ng kanyang uh, details, no? Pag zoom-in mo siya, kitang-kita mo yung pagka-portrait na itong pusa na ito. And I'm pretty sure this one is one of my favorite shot na nakuha ko dito sa phone na ito. Now, taking the phone further indoors, taking some food shot, you'd see magandang mga pictures na nakukuha natin dito. Though, it's a little bit more of a focus dito sa likod rather than sa front, but the picture is pretty nice. This one as well. Ang ganda ng details sa makita mo, mga crackers, yung details ng crackers, yung mga sausages, that's really nice. Then, taking a look at this one, yung mga lechon shot, mga steak shot, no? Pati mga potatoes is sarap. Makita mo yung mga details sa pati mga oil kitang kita pa rin. Now, one of the good thing dito sa mga low light shot na nakuha natin, no? The colors rendered are very sharp and very nice. 
Now, taking a look at this puto and this cake, it looks really good. Now, taking a look at some of this low light na mga Christmas decor shot, all of these details are very much preserved. Ang ganda. Pag zinumin mo, pati itong bokeh shot is probably one of my favorite as well. One of the good thing dito sa Z60 Ultra is that yung mga shots na nakukuha ko, even though na low light and mga medyo paggabi na, no, these colors are really good and decent. One thing na nagpansin ko is kanya, pretty sharp siya, hindi na si soften ng mga photos na nakukuha natin. Taking a look at apparel shot, pag zinom in mo, very much kita yung details dito sa kanya three stripes. And of course, one of my favorite mga night shot na, no? this one is probably one of the better ones na render dito sa phone na ito. Uh, this is a night shot. And further taking some night shot, makita mo talagang ganda ng camera niya pagdating sa night photography. Now of course, the tide will turn once you use the front facing camera. As usual, uh, as, as expected, no, kasi it's a under display na front facing camera you'd expect some blurry shot like this one but there are times na matino naman siya not always ito medyo malabo but if you take a look naman sa some indoor shot this one is a little bit decent but this one is a little bit whitish so it depends on the lighting condition I could hardly say but I could still get some decent shot like this one now using its front facing camera it can only shoot you up to 1080 and 30 and well decent naman ka ng shot stable naman siya probably the resolution is not the best that I want medyo hazy siya now if you use your Canon camera taking a 4k and 60fps shot you'll really get some good video like this one even if you're zooming it in the uh, video quality is very sharp and the colors are punchy, not saturated. That's probably something that you like when you're taking videos outdoors. Ito naman sa indoor low light, they will get something like this. Pretty stable and uh, makita mo yung ambience na dito, no? It's really nice. Now, taking a step further, this one is a uh, night shot. You see all of these lights, no? Hindi siya flicker, which I, I think is better as opposed to other cameras which can take in good video except that yung flicker mga lights yung mga Christmas lights yung. But this one, I'm pretty sure it's pretty decent based dito sa nakikita natin. Now, with everything jam-packed into itong phone na ito, and ang kanyang price is 39,000 pesos, and you might be able to score it during sa mga sale na nakita ko at around mga 33,000 pesos, 8256 with all of the hefty specs dito sa phone na ito, if you're not a gamer, you're a photographer, this phone is really excellent. I would say, gumandang color science ni Nubia dito sa phone na ito. And I'm really excited to give you more photos sa akin uh, Facebook page. Yun. Just follow me on my Facebook page for more camera shots from the Z60 Ultra. The only thing na nandismay ako dito is a little bit heavy and ang kanyang front-facing camera is hazy and blurry. Expected naman siya kasi under display. But overall, itong phone na ito is really, really good. Now, kung masuscore mo ito ng 33,000 pesos, I would say na this is probably one of the best one na makukuha mo with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Now, if you are wondering kung saan ko nabili ito, I'll be linking everything on the description box below. And it's also available sa Shandy Philippines and sa Shandy Masangkai. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to share it to your friends. And a subscription to this channel would definitely be appreciated. And I'll see you on my next one. And so, ako para sa Richmond, and you're watching Gadget Psychic. Like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. For one of my latest uploads, click the dito. And for one of my popular uploads, click here.